before we get into the unveiling, let's just check that you've got your tea, your coffee or your champers. Why not? Get yourself something cosy, sit down, relax, because we've got a special one today, guys. We have got a Van Cleef and our pals unboxing. Are we ready? Let's go. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cara and I'm from London. I vlog about all things fashion related with a guilty pleasure on the luxury end of it. Fashion is my therapy, it's my natural high. So if you can relate and would like to indulge with me, then like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and follow me on our fashion fix together. So how is everyone doing? Looking forward to spring starting. And I thought I would show you something that's still quite winter based because I bought it at the end of last year. Well, actually, I bought it in October of last year and I've been wanting to share this with you for a while, just haven't had the time. So I thought I would introduce you to one of my newest pieces of fine jewellery. As you've all probably noticed, I wear this absolutely beautiful Dior Rose Devant necklace. I absolutely love this. When did I get this? I bought this last year probably around spring and I never take it off. I absolutely love her. She is rose gold with black onyx. I'll probably do a Dior fine jewellery vlog at some point because I have got myself a little collection. Absolutely love the focus of the star, the lucky star from Dior etc etc. But today it's not a vlog focusing on Dior. I have here a Van Cleef Arpels bag, otherwise known as my new baby girl. And I wanted to introduce you to her because I'm sure a lot of you who do follow me for the fine jewellery side of my channel may appreciate this. And if you are new to Van Cleef and Arpels, then to be honest with you, I hope that you find this vlog very helpful because I have to say, Van Cleef is a brand that I've completely aspired to over the years. I've never really bought into fine jewellery before, I'd say probably three years ago. So I've talked about this a few times over my channel when I did the Chanel Coco Crush review, which I can pop up there for you. But Van Cleef and Arpels is a glorious French brand. The Four Leaf Clover, it's all about the Four Leaf Clover, the Alhambra, which is my favourite part of their range. And yes, I will stop nattering and share this unboxing with you. We will open it for the first time together. So grab yourself a little drink or some nibbles and let's unbox her. Right guys, before we get into the unveiling, I just want to check that you've got your tea, your coffee or your champers. Why not? And that you're sat down and you're cosy and comfy because this is going to be a special one. It's a special one for me. You know, I don't show you VCA every day, do I? This is something very special and something I have saved to unbox with you. I am so excited. Are we even ready, guys? I don't know if I am. Here we have the most stunning packaging. From the top, we've got the green handles and we've got, I'd actually call this a sage green. I do love sage green. The VCA embossed branding, it's all raised here and shiny, really, really gorgeous. And then on the other side, you've got the Van Cleef and Arpels branding here. Absolutely lovely bag. And then inside, I'm sure you're all excited to see what we have in here. So we have... This is where they keep the receipt. So beautiful butterfly embossed pamphlet inside of which I have my receipt. And then we also have the certificate of authenticity here. Can you see that there? So in here you will have a booklet of the date that they stamped when you actually bought the item 
where you bought it and of course the registration number for the item so that's all unique for that piece and then in here this is what you're waiting for isn't it that's what i'm waiting for to be honest an absolutely beautiful box oh wow sage green i mean it's like an olive green ribbon really i am a fan of soft greens it's stunning, isn't it? Look at that ribbon, glossy ribbon, hard case, VCA here. Can you see that there? I mean, if you're a seasoned Von Cleef and Arpels shopper, of course, you're going to be familiar with this. But for the viewers who are quite new to this brand, I'm showing you everything because it's something exciting. You know, for those of you who, like me, you buy yourself little treats, little tidbits here and there. This is a treat to myself. Look at that box. Look at it shining on its own. It's like it's talking to you without me, isn't it? So I will reveal what she is inside and then we'll have a little chin work about it. So without further ado, ah, I'm so excited. Beautiful, beautiful box. Let me see if I can do this without it falling out. Here we have a lovely I would call this like a dust bag pouch. It's a it's a pouch and it's made out of felt. Beautiful. Can you see? It's all soft. You can take this with you on holiday. Things won't crush inside. Are we ready for the reveal? What do you think I got, guys? Lovely branding there on the inside of the flap in silver now for the grand reveal are we ready enjoy this with me i'm seeing it for the first time since i brought her one two three <gasps> guys so for those of you who aren't familiar with what this is because it's not on the website this is the holiday pendant from Von Cleef and Arpels 2023. Just have a little look first. This is in a rose gold and the stone in the middle, I'm so dazzled, is a silver obsidian and in the very centre is a diamond and I think it's absolutely stunning. See when I pull it away you can't really see it so I will have to keep her here but let me give you a close-up of her on my skin tone. Oh, look at that though guys, look I'm so so obsessed. Obsidian is a highly regarded protective stone known for its ability to block, absorb and transform negative energy. Obsidian is believed to be a stone of clarity with the ability to release emotional, physical and spiritual blockages, drawing out stress and tension. Particularly to the silver obsidian, this is relatively rare form of obsidian that has the appearance of silvery sparkles that appear when viewed at certain angles. And as you will see from the close ups that I'm showing you now, it's truly a two tone pendant depending on your skin tone, depending on the light, depending on the day, whether it's sunny or cloudy as it is today. It will give you an appearance of a dark grey or even a silver obsidian finish. I'm so obsessed, guys. I'm so in love with this piece. I mean, as you will see here, I wear the rose gold, as I've said earlier, the rose de Vaughan from Dior. And I bought this thinking that I could stack them. I'm going to try it on in a moment. Maybe have the VCA a little bit lower down because I think the colours would really complement each other. I always aspire to buying the single pendant Alhambra VCA with the onyx and, well, I wanted white gold, but they don't do it. You have to make to order. And now that I have this 
I don't really need it. I bought this from VCA in Harrods. Absolutely so, so grateful to the essays that I have there. They really, really, really honestly think of me. It was something I've told them that I like the idea of the rose gold with the dark mother of pearl. But I'm a little bit, you know, I have got VCA Mother of Pearl pieces, ooh, but I don't really wear them as often because it's such a precious stone. This is also quite a precious, when I say precious, if it's considered a soft stone, then you don't really want to get stones that are considered soft in water or your natural perspiration. You don't want to get the moisture on it. So it's not really one that you'd wear every day. When compared to onyx, which is much more hard wearing, it's a harder stone, you could even shower in it. Sometimes I do, but it doesn't have as much of a reaction to your perspiration or heat or swimming as a mother of pearl or this one, silver obsidian wood. So I have bought her, I'm not going to wear her as often as this one, but I like the idea that I could stack them together. So in terms of price, I bought this, I mean, it's not going to potentially go up in price because it's a holiday pendant, but I bought it at £3,400. And I think they are still being offered to clients, but I guess once it's sold out, that's it. They're not going to repeat it. So it's a little time capsule for me to mark the time when I bought it, which was last year. And I'm so happy. So let me try this on now and show you. Right, guys, here she is in all her glory. She is sitting beneath my Dior Rose Gold with Onyx Rose Devant Pendant. Beautiful. Love her. Wear her every day. And then here is my beautiful holiday pendant from Von Cleef and Arpels. This is called the Vintage Alhambra Single Pendant Rose Gold with Silver Obsidian and a Diamond from 2023. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog as much as I've enjoyed showing you. You can see as the light gets darker, this is looking more onyx, which I love because I think it complements the onyx on the Rose Devant really well. But I will wait and show you some daylight videos when we get a bit more sunshine, if we get it, really. Don't think we will, because I think it will show you the difference to the rose gold on the Dior, because this will look lighter and more silver, which is what I loved, because I love white gold as well. So what do we think? Do you have this already? Have you got any model shots? Have you worn her? Let me know, you know, let's have a good old natter. This is such a special piece. And I'm going to so enjoy wearing her, probably on special occasions, not every day, because she's a little bit more delicate than an onyx. So for all of you who have enjoyed this vlog, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your support, watching my content. I hope you continue to enjoy. Let's natter away. I'm going to twirl for you one more time and I will see you next week. So stay safe, everyone. Lots of love. Have a good week. Bye.